Is there life in the universe? Some theorize that life does exist, but simply as a bacteria. Others have suggested that extraterrestrial life might be so advanced that they could observe our culture and choose the appropriate time to reveal themselves. Possibly the most frightening proposition that we are truly alone in the galaxy. For me, however our fellow space travelers choose to reveal themselves, I hope that they look upon us as siblings in a familial cosmic evolution, members of the same celestial family tree. I'm Carl Jansky. Welcome to Carl, Carl Jansky's Jansky. Planetary, Planetary Moment. Moment. So perhaps you noticed that we here at the Planetary Moment were absent from the airwaves last week. We sincerely apologize for that, as we do not mean to be derelict in our duties. As it happens, I experienced a very unusual occurrence last week, an experience that provides even more reason to keep our eyes on the planisphere. So, about last week, my friend Chip and I went up to the North Woods to do some camping. We were just relaxing, having two or three beers, you know, dozing under the night sky. When suddenly, this huge crack of light comes shooting at us out of the stars. Biggest bulb I ever seen. I woke up the next day in my very own bed, have no idea how I got there. Anyhow, this is Chip. Chip, what do you remember? I remember a tower of gold and a river circling around Saturn, a harmony of synthesized notes. That sounds pretty nice. There was a factory in which the humans were transformed into crystals. Well, that's pretty unusual. Do you know how you got home? Our home is the Andromeda. We have come to explore the music of Earth. We have people in the highest places in your government. We're sorry. Carl Jansky's planetary moment has been temporarily suspended until further notice. Stay tuned for Iron Mountaineering with Jeff Cowell, next on WTNG. 